Hi friends, we have another wonderful community helper to read about today. Take a look at our front cover. Can you see any clues about who this book will be about today? That's right, there's our mailbox. So today we're going to be reading about mail carriers. Now, I've been thinking a lot about mail carriers because they have really been helping me out these past few weeks when I've been staying at home. I've been able to send letters and packages to my friends and family who I don't get to see, so it's a way that I can show them some love, and our mail carriers have been delivering those to them. They've also delivered me some fun packages, too. Have you gotten any fun mail recently? Awesome! So today we're going to read and use our table of contents, which we learned is at the front of our book and it tells us about what different sections there are. We're going to use the photographs, which are pictures that have been taken by real cameras, so we can see what life is like for our mail carriers. And we're going to use the glossary at the end of the book to learn about some of the new words. While we read today, our story question is, how do mail carriers help? Now, you already know a couple of ways that mail carriers help. What are some ways you already know that mail carriers help us? That's right, they deliver letters and they deliver packages. You might know this because you've met mail carriers coming to your house. We also got to learn about Zoe and Zaley's abuelo, who's a mail carrier, when he came and visited us at school. Now let's find out some more. Mail carriers. Oh, it looks like there's some letters and mails inside of this carrier. A bag. And here's our table of contents. Let's see what the first section is about. Mail carriers at work. And I slide over and I see page four is where that starts. Oh, I see a G down here. That says glossary. So remember, if I want to learn about some new words, I can slide to page 23 to learn what those words mean. Let's start on page four with mail carriers at work. Mail carriers at work. Josh wants to be a mail carrier, but what do they do? Let's take a look at the picture and see what we notice about this mail carrier's uniform. What are some different things you see in this photograph that might help the mail carrier do their job? The mail carrier is wearing a hat to protect him from the sun or the rain. He's carrying a big bag with what looks like a comfortable strap on his shoulder to hold all of the mail. He's also using his hands to carry some mail. He has a blue uniform on so that people know that he's a mail carrier and he's coming to your house to deliver letters or packages. He also has a lot of keys. Do you see that? I wonder what those are for. Let's read and find out more. Mail carriers bring mail to people. Here's a mail truck. Have you seen one of those in your neighborhood this week? I've seen a couple. Bob starts at the post office where he sorts mail. Just like you have your cubbies at school where we put in papers to send home to your families, there are uh, different spaces for everyone's mail at the post office so that it doesn't get mixed up. Ben puts mail into bins. Bins are like big boxes that look like they hold a lot of letters. Cora is on a route. A route is a different path or trip so she might go visit the same houses on her route every day. That means she travels on the same streets and the same roads to get there. She goes to these same houses every day. Today she has a package from Mr. Ross. So look, she's ringing the doorbell because it doesn't fit in Mr. Ross's mailbox. 
Bill sees a red flag. That means that there's mail to pick up. He gets the mail and then he puts the flag down. So if you're leaving a letter in your mailbox for your mail carrier to send to someone else, you put the flag up so that they know to take it out. Deb works in a city. She uses a cart instead of a truck. Do you see that? So she's walking to all of the houses on her route. She has a special key to open mailboxes. Ooh, I bet that's what the keys were for on this first page where we got to see the uniform. Let me find it. They must have keys to open different mailboxes on their route. I know I live in an apartment and my mailbox needs a key to get into. Art has a mailbag to hold all of these letters. He even brings mail to shops. So even grocery stores and flower shops get mail delivered to them too. Mail carriers do good work. There's one of the big blue mailboxes you might see around your neighborhood where you can put letters or packages that you need to be delivered. Here we are at the post office. That's where you can go if you have a big package to mail or you need to buy stamps or send any other um, bigger packages or envelopes. Here we are at our glossary on page 23. Just like our table of contents said, 23. Let's see if we learned any of these new words while we were reading mailbag. Do you remember what a mailbag does? That's right, it holds all of the letters and mail for the mail carrier. What about a package? Yeah, a package is a box with something in it that someone has mailed. The post office is the place where mail is sorted and people can send and pick up mail. And the route, do you remember what that word route meant? The route is the places that a mail carrier brings mail to every day. Remember, they go to the same houses and same streets or apartments every day. That's the end. What did you learn about mail carriers and how they help? That's right, they deliver letters, packages, and mail to people on their routes. They have special keys, bags, carts, and trucks to help them deliver to everyone who lives on their route. Thanks for reading that together, friends. Today, we have a special project for you. We have two choices, so there are two different things that you can do for your writing activity today. The first thing is to show love to our mail carriers who are working so hard to deliver letters and packages for us. What are some ways that you think we could show love to them? We could say thank you, we could give them flowers or a present. Yeah, or we can make them a card. We've made lots of thank you cards and posters together this year. So one thing that you can do today is make a thank you card and put it outside by your mailbox to celebrate and show love to your mail carrier. So I decorated my card with some different hearts and colors and I said thank you in lots of the different languages that we speak in our classroom. So we've got English, Spanish, Amharic. Yep, we've even got French. We have Nepali, we have Khmer. We have lots of different ways that we can say thank you. So one thing that you can do is decorate a sign with words or pictures to tape on your door or by your mailbox to show love to your mail carrier tomorrow. Another thing you can do is write a letter. You can write a letter or draw a picture and send to a friend or send to someone in your family. So I wrote a letter to Miss Dillon because Miss Dillon brought me books that I get to read to all of you. So I'm gonna get my stamp. I'm gonna put it in the corner.
and then I'll write my address and Miss Dillon's address and drop this off in the mailbox to deliver to her. I can't wait to see what cards or letters you all create to show love either to your mail carrier, to a friend, or to someone in your family. Have a wonderful day. Bye.